This video is going to be on a uh, Colt Custom cham 1911 chambered in a 38 Super. Before I go in, get in the review, I want to thank the people that uh, they gave me tips and stuff because I'm kind of new to YouTube on how to improve my, my video quality or my channel or whatever. Uh, two of the main ones were obviously get a better camera. Haven't done that yet, but the only big thing was lighting. So I'll fix that. Hopefully it's better. Um, I just purchased this gun two days ago. Uh, like I said, it is a uh, Colt Custom 1911 chambered in 38 Super. I don't know a lot about this gun. As many 1911s as I owned or have owned in the past, uh, it's one of the most unique. What I can tell you about it, it's got a Caspian stainless frame on it. It's got a Colt Mark IV 80 series slide. One thing I noticed about the slide when I took it down to uh, clean it all up was the firing pin safety has been removed, which I thought kind of odd, but I did a little bit of research and the uh, Colt Custom Shop did, did that, I guess depending on what the order was. Uh, I can't tell you it has Wichita adjustable rear sight. Obviously, it's going to find trigger and hammer. It is a Colt Combat Commander, four and three quarter inch barrel. It's got a Packamar grips on it. Uh, it's got a steel mainframe frame housing. I'll also get a close up of that later with the uh, flare magwell. What the guy told me is this was. This was made for competition shooting, which I guess he did until his eyesight started going bad. I was looking for a Colt's my favorite 1911, so I was looking to get another Colt 1911. And I happened to see this, and I really liked it, so I bought off the gentleman. It also has a bull barrel on it, um, so let's just take a close-up look of it. One thing I don't like about it is the thumb safety is huge on this thing. It covers over half the rear serrations. I don't know what the purpose that is for competition shooting. I'll just give you a close up. Like I said, it has a bull barrel on it. Um, doesn't need the barrel bushing. With a bull barrel, it is also flared out. This gun has been checked for safety. Also, the barrel has been ported. Uh, if anybody has any more information on, like I said, this is, I don't know too much about these customs. Somebody else might, might know a lot more about it than I do. As far as takedown, it's the exact same as a 1911, except you don't have the uh, barrel bushing to contend with. You just take out your slide stop and take it down normal. There you can see the slides cut out. There's the ported barrel. I said, if anybody can enlighten me on any more details, especially on that thumb safety, I don't understand that at all. Let me know. Um, appreciate any comments. Thanks.